Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript interview question and answer series. And today's question is one of those dumbest question that I've seen people ask it and I've seen candidates making mistake in it. I can't even think of that I'm even bringing this question to you, but trust me, as in the panel, I've heard this question being asked and I've heard candidate giving wrong answer for it. So I thought I'll let me just explain it also so that um, for our viewers who are new to JavaScript, who are still learning, it will help them. So the question is, is JavaScript case sensitive? If yes, can you give me an example? A lot of times people think, hey, it's very simple. Yeah, it doesn't matter which case we write. It, it We can write anything we want. And when asked an example, they just give any example they want uh, because it's not camel case, you can't write anything. But the fact is JavaScript is case sensitive, right? And I, I hope you guys understand that. And um, most of you, I know that you understand it, but for our viewers who are new, who are beginners, let me explain it with little bit uh, functionality so it helps you better. So JavaScript, if you see for most part, you can write um, in lower case, right? But when it comes to methods, right? Like which are the one default one, like one example is like this document dot get element by ID. It's a built in method to get you the element by ID. If you see, this is camel case, right? So this is, it is case sensitive because it uses camel case, right? Now what is camel case? So for example, if you say something say I dot, if I say parse float or parse int, right? You see I is caps here, I is uppercase. Similarly, get element by id right similarly if you see get element element by class name this is yet another method this is get element by id you have uh, parse int you have parse float um, right so these are all methods which are camel case so so JavaScript is case sensitive and the case, uh, the format that it follows is camel case for methods. For variables, you can define anything you want, however you want. Let's say I can define camel, I can define camel, I can define raw cat, right? That's all fine. These are all variables, doesn't matter case sensitivity. But for methods, for built-in methods, right? For built-in methods, it's camel case, right? So make sure you get that right absolutely because this is, this is they ask you to trick you, okay? They'll ask such question to trick you so that you answer it wrong and they will catch that you don't know it, right? That's how uh, interviewers try to grill you. But when you are confident, when you are sitting confidently and answering with example that variables can be uppercase, can be lowercase, doesn't matter. For methods which are by default or in inbuilt, right? They are camel case. User defined methods can again be anything, right? So if I am defining a method like this here, get status, I can define it like this also. It doesn't matter. This is correct. I can define. This is also correct. There is no there is nobody who stops us by writing like this, right? Now if you see. Uh, I think there is okay so that's because we didn't okay so now you see this is a function which is uppercase I can write a function which is all lowercase testing fun string function right this is correct this is also small case this is all caps but uh, inbuilt or by default uh, built-in methods are always camel case right so make sure that you get that right because they will ask you this to trick you Okay, so if you have any further doubts, drop me co uh, drop me your comments in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you are enjoying the series. I hope you are enjoying the questions. If you want me to cover any particular topic, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to cover that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for joining. Keep learning, keep growing. I'll see you in the next episode.